Hello! In this video, we're going to discuss how we go about filtering results we get from an XMS job. After you've run all of your samples, upload the files to XMS online, process them through XMS, we often get a web page that looks like this that allows us to view the uh, results. So we'll go to the particular job that we ran, click on the view icon, and to look at data for each individual feature, we'll go to view results table. In this particular experiment, over 19,000 features were found. What we'd like to do is filter through all these features so we're only looking at the most significant ones, or the ones that differ the most. To do that, we'll use this magnifying glass icon in the top left corner, the Find Records icon, and click on that. And the first parameter we're going to filter on is p-value. We only want to look at features that have a p-value of 0 0.01 or less. The next parameter we choose is full change. And here, a value of 1.5 or greater is a good starting point. So only features that differ by 1.5 or more will be displayed. And the last one we typically use is max int, which stands for max intensity. And here we'll just only look at features that have an intensity value of 5,000 or greater. Then we click Find. And we notice that our spreadsheet of 19,000 lines is now a spreadsheet of 146 lines, which is much more manageable. If in your experience or when you try this, you find that you still have a spreadsheet that's several thousand lines long, or you find you have a spreadsheet that has no lines, only a few lines, you can go back into the Find Records icon over here and change some of these values so you're only looking at the most significant features in your analysis. Thank you very much for watching, and please visit us at XCMS Online.